Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another cigar pairing with Charles Wallingford. We have a pretty nice pairing for you today. Every, every pairing's nice, but this is something really special. And I know they say that a lot too. It's special, it's a good pairing. This, let me just get to this point. I have had the Martell BSOP on here pairing with another cigar. I've had the Martell Cordon Bleu pairing with another cigar and now I have the Martel XO right here pairing with the Tatuaje 10th anniversary the, the I haven't had a bad pairing with Tatuaje yet I have not had a bad pairing with Martel yet and I can't wait to get this started I can't wait to tell you all about it but I'm going to get back to you once this cigar is towards the end, just getting out the, the last third, I mean, the, getting out the second third or maybe going into the last third. I don't know yet. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Just believe me, I know this is going to be great. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back now in the end of the cigar for the most part. I'm in the last third. Now, let me tell you about the Martel XO and I'll get to the Tatuaje. What you're gonna have with the Martel XO is gonna be a uh, your basic flavor of a cognac, but it's just a perfect flavor. It's exactly what a cognac should taste like. Strong, strong raisin flavor. Um, you're gonna have spices, and it's not very sweet. Now, not very sweet is very good for pairing with a cigar. You don't want that sweetness to overpower the cigar too much, and that works great. I've had, like I said, I had the VSOP, I had the Cordon Blue, and now I'm having the XO. The XO is just, I think, just a little bit more spicier. And I mean spicier, not in the sense of heat, just in the sense of like allspice, cinnamon, and things like that. That is what you're getting with the Martel XO. Now, far as the Tatuaje, you're getting a nutty, earthy, leathery flavor. And then what comes in? What am, what's my favorite? The cocoa, the cocoa coffee flavor. And so nice so nice and that goes really good with a cognac it's like that raisinette flavor where you have the chocolate covered raisin spectacular I, I really really like that together in a pairing so what do we have do we have a perfect pairing oh definitely we have a perfect pairing but the only thing is it's not gonna get the top top rating I thought it would get only because of the inconsistency and the second third toward getting close to the last third, there was some inconsistency with the cigar. The cigar went in and out of flavor intensity. Usually in the second third, you have a lot more flavor intensity. That came down a bit. And the scores are actually a 93. It would be a 95 or 96 if it could, would stay consistent, but unfortunately it didn't. And what would give it a 95 or 96 is is a new flavor. When I would take a draw and take a bit of the uh, cognac, I end up with I would end up with a uh, cherry flavor, and that cherry flavor did not come about when I had this by itself. That that uh, Martel XO, and then it came out with this cigar, and that is exactly what you want. But like I said, 
there was a loss of flavor, loss of intensity, and then with coming into the second third. The first third, like I said, was fabulous. Second third wasn't so great. But what I can tell you is what made this, like that flavor come out is your order. I talk, I talk about order before. Drink, then smoke, but drink, pause, then smoke. Usually you drink, you can have that drink right behind it that, and, and then take, take a draw. No, take a drink, pause, then, then take a draw. That is what made this pairing so great and what would allow those flavors to come out. And that is because of the viscosity. This is a pretty thick uh, XO. And that's exactly what an XO should be. An XO should be thicker than a VSOP or even a Napoleon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my review of the Tatuaje 10th anniversary and the Martel XO. Now, the last thing I want to tell you is if you don't want to go out and get the XO and you want because of money and, and, and cost, the Cordon Bleu would be just fine, just fine. So I would highly suggest trying the XO, but if you can only get the uh, Cordon Bleu, which is still actually pretty expensive, around 150, you still will have a grand, grand pairing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this pairing. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. And I'm Charles Wallingford. This is how I spent my money.